Zika, they've just revealed their new electric 7X SUV, electric SUV. It's clearly a direct rival for cars like the Tesla Model Y, the Xpeng G6, or the Xpeng G6. And there's many other cars that we could compare this to, but they're two of the most common cars, right? It's a similar size to those vehicles. Maybe even the BYD Sea Lion, if that's what you're after, which is actually a pretty good car too. But the 7X just got more than 20,000 pre-orders within hours of going on sale. Now, when I say on sale, this is pre-orders. It's not actually on sale yet in China. I do have guys, if you're interested in this car and you're in Australia, I've already received emails from people in Australia. Please don't email me on this because it just takes up too much of my time responding to these emails. I can answer your questions. Most of your questions that people are asking me on e in emails, I actually answer them in videos. Just make sure you watch the videos and then you'll find out the answers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Great to have you with us. My name's Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. The Zika 7X is essentially the SUV version of the Zika 007. So if you've seen the videos, any videos of my videos or other videos from others on the Zika 007, that's the same technology, the batteries, the uh, motors, potentially not quite the range. You probably have to do, uh, subtract maybe five to 10% from those range figures that would give you an, a, an idea of the range of these vehicles because um, that's going to obviously, they're bigger cars than the 007, not quite as aerodynamically um, efficient as the Zika 007. So, but that gives you a good idea, right? On the battery, the technology. Speaking of technology, what will this 7X get? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll just tell you first what I think about the delivery of this vehicle in overseas markets. Is it a global car, the 7X? It is. So you could plan on selling this in many different countries, including, of course, where I am here in Australia. Not in America, though. Not in America. They won't be manufacturing these in the United States uh, or Canada. Therefore, you guys won't be able to buy it. And that really sucks for you guys. It's a phenomenal car. What about price? The price will make it, well, it's a phenomenal vehicle, right? Very fast charging, incredibly advanced technology. To be fair, BYD's technology looks a bit old school. In it is old school in comparison to Zika's. It is. Now, guys, if you own a BYD, please don't be offended by that. I'm just pointing out the reality here. Fast charging of, uh, say, Zika 7X is more than twice the speed. More than twice the speed of any BYD EV, any of them. Yes, I know there's a BYD EV that can charge two ports at once, but that's just essentially like having two different battery packs and two different charging ports. And that's good, but it's, it's really not this level of technology, nowhere near. So the charging speed, the battery energy density is better than BYD's EVs. And the reason, to, to be honest, consumers are saying the same. Look at BYD sales this year. Astronomical plug-in hybrid sales. EV sales have grown by 2% versus the same month last year. So EV sales are not really growing. BYD is clearly focusing their technological prowess, their efforts on plug-in hybrids. So that's my kind of information I think is worth well worth considering your time. Tesla's focusing their efforts on uh, automation, robo-taxis, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Lots of other things, including robot, robotics. Uh, obviously, you've got the Geely company. They're focusing more of their investments on electric cars, and therefore, that's why they're being basically revealing this kind of technology. So I don't think it'll come to Australia until next year. And the reason I say that is simply because of what the vice president um, told myself and some other journalists when we were in China that it won't be coming to Australia next year, probably middle of the year next year. Price. Price will be more expensive than, say, a Tesla Model Y standard range or an Xpeng G6. I'm estimating around 10 to 20% more expensive. It'll be priced higher. Based on what we're seeing in China, the price will be yeah, about that much higher. So whilst it is a rival for those cars, it's sort of in a segment sort of on its own because clearly it has better fast charging. Clearly it has going to have longer range than those vehicles that I mentioned, but the price is higher. So you pay more, you get more. But honestly, that, that doesn't mean it's better value. It just means it's a different thing, right? So you pay more, you get more. But the question is, a lot of people say, a lot of people are saying to me, should I wait for the 7X? Well, like I said, the price will be higher and you won't be driving a new car now. So in my opinion, if you need a car, don't wait, get a car now, whatever suits your needs, whether that's the Tesla Model Y standard range, whether that's a, um, an Xpeng G6 or the Zika X. 
I think all those three cars are fantastic value for money. The BYD Seal is excellent value for money as well. But the only thing I'd say with the BYD Seal is uh, very tough here, guys. I know a lot of people are buying the Seal, but you need to consider this. I think from what I've heard from Xpeng, I think they're bringing the Mona 03, right? I think it's coming and it's significantly cheaper than the BYD Seal in China and it's just as good. It's just as good, significantly cheaper, has faster charging speed. So that is a consideration. Now, the other consideration is I'm, what I've been hearing from rumors is the Tesla Model 3 Highland next year will get a new battery, giving it significantly longer range than what it has today. So the only question, the only fear that I have is you buy a, a new EV and you, you obviously, it's understandable. Every, you, your resale value is going to go down no matter what car you get. But the only problem is if you buy a new one and then you find that the arrival comes out cheaper or with more range within a few months of you getting your EV, that's when I get a bit um, concerned. But the booty seal is still a good value for money car. So really, if you bought one of those, I think it's not a, it's not a bad decision. It's great value. The 7X, right? Here's the, here are the details we know from China. 20,000 orders, I believe, within a day. The official launch is the 20th of September. We already know the details of this vehicle. Starting price will be 33,700. So 34,000 US dollars starting price, right? That's actually a similar price to a Tesla Model Y standard range. But I think, like I said, it will be a fair bit higher than that in terms of its price overseas. Size, it's actually bigger than the Model Y and the Xpeng G6. It's 4.8 meters or 4,825 millimeters. So about six or seven centimeters longer. Not much bigger, not really significant to be honest, but a little bit bigger. 800 volt high voltage platform, but the cheapest version will be a 400 volt platform. Now that's what Zika does with the 001. The cheaper ones run on a 400 volt, the more expensive on an 800 volt it's worth pointing out the Xpeng G6 is an 800 volt for both cheaper versions and more expensive versions. So it's charging, fast charging speed is replicated in both the standard range and the long range versions. And guys, that's one of the reasons why I ordered the Xpeng G6. And yeah, as I've shown in my video, I do have the receipt for my placing my order. And if you guys want to place an order, you can get a free charger and free installation, which is actually worth thousands of dollars if you want to use my link. So just make sure you use my link. It's in the description. And honestly, I think when Xpeng reveal the price, which they will within the next one or two weeks, I think you're going to find there's going to be hundreds more pre-orders. Then you'll have to wait for quite a while. That's why I recommend putting in your pre-order now. And then if you want to cancel, you can. It's a refundable deposit. So just put in your order. And then if you decide when it comes to it, when deliveries are made, then you, if you want to cancel, you can cancel. Anyhow, Two battery options for the 7X, 75 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate, so LFP. That's the Geely Aegis short blade battery. Essentially, it's like a BOD blade battery, but the blades are half the length of BOD's blade batteries, and that enables them to charge much faster, 600 kilowatt potential charging speed with the 800 volt platform with that vehicle. Now, I don't know if the 7X will have 600 kilowatt charging, but we do know that that battery is capable of those charging speeds. We do know the 009 can charge at 560 kilowatt. And I think now the 001, the updated version does 600 kilowatt. So that is possible. CLTC range on that battery pack will be 605 kilometers, meaning WLTP about 500 kilometers of range on the base model. Longer range version has a big battery. It's a nickel manganese cobalt battery pack. I don't know the exact chemistry. When I say chemistry, I don't know. You know, you have different forms of chemistry from different manufacturers. I don't know the name of that one. That's a 100 kilowatt hour size pack. And that means range on that model is 780 kilometers, which would be about probably 680 kilometers WLTP. That model, though, will be a lot more expensive. That's a big battery. Obviously, you're gonna have to pay for that. I would estimate, total guesswork for me, but educated guess, I'd estimate that model will be around 85,000 to 90,000 Australian dollars once it arrives. Zika said their engineers developed their lithium ion phosphate battery, which is like I said, it's called the golden battery. There's a few names, golden battery, Aegis battery, short blade battery. They've said it's the world's fastest charging battery, and it is. The battery pack can be charged in 10.5 minutes, 10% to 80%. 10.5 minutes, that's the fastest charging car in the world. Now, 
Can you charge at that speed anywhere outside of China? No, you cannot. There's not a, I don't believe there's a single country in the world where you can charge at that speed, but there probably will be within the next few years. I'm sure that someone's going to replicate. I, in fact, I've heard that Zika might even out, actually install their own fast chargers in Australia and in Europe as well, which are capable of charging speeds of around 600 kilowatt. So that would be unreal, right? It will happen. This would kind of future-proof your car. That's one cool feature here. The 7X will be Zika's second model, which is meant to be a mainstream car. So the Zika X is their real mainstream car, and the Zika 7X will be their second kind of mainstream global car. Now, CNF Post said the Zika 007 electric sedan went on sale on December 27, 2023. It's Zika's first model to target the mainstream EV market. That's not actually true, CNF Post. The Zika 007 is actually a left-hand drive car only. It won't be made for markets like Japan, Australia, Thailand, Malaysia, um, the UK, many, many, many right-hand drive car markets. It won't be made for them. And as far as I know, the 007 is not yet on sale, even in Europe, even a year after it was revealed. So really, this is a global car, the 7X and the X as well. When it comes to Zika EV deliveries, they've grown exactly about 85% versus last year. January to August, about 85% growth versus the same period last year. And the key reason here is China's consumers are very savvy. They're very well aware of the best technology. Zika is clearly using it in the 7X. Clearly, that's why they got 20,000 pre-orders. Should also mention, though, the Xpeng Mona 06 or 07, whatever it's called, Xpeng Mona, that'll do. Apparently, that got 30,000 pre-orders. But keep in mind, the cheapest version of that car is $16,800. It is incredibly good value for money. Guys, there are so many good EVs coming. The choice will be very difficult for you to make. I'll do my best to guide you as much as I can. I'll give you the best advice. And guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.